Hey, ya. Uh, um, I was actually gonna almost stop tonight, but I'm gonna do one more little hour here. Um, the reason I was gonna stop is because I am so sleepy, actually, uh, which makes sense. I've been kind of changing my sleep schedule and it's been kind of going pretty well, but it's been like way earlier days than I'm used to. Oh, sorry, guy. You can go. Um, but this morning I actually woke up at 7.30, like, and like, couldn't, like, tried to sleep longer and like, couldn't. Which, I, honestly, I don't really remember experiencing since childhood. These flowers all look like items to me. Why do they even put mushrooms on corpses? There's freaking mushrooms everywhere. Why would I want a mushroom on a corpse? You know? Isn't that the same weird? It's always seemed a little weird to me. Like, why hype it up like that when it's just going to be nothing? What's the, what's the supposed to be? Oh, that's not a good sign. What's supposed to be the effect of that for the player? Um, anyways, unfortunately, so my mental health uh, has been worse this year than ever in my life. And it is, I kind of feel like getting better, but... I honestly say that just because it's been feeling better the past like two days and it feels like that's because of like a like a psychological breakthrough rather than just like luck or good brain chemistry but it might just be luck and good, good brain chemistry so I may not be out of the thick of it you know um, the second defensive lane Dell the fell omen stacks high the corpses of heroes yet the earth tree rain remains unshaken so the fell omen is Margaret he was attacking this place Wait, was he like, like a like a bad guy according to like the people who lived in Stormvale too? Because this is like Stormvale allied area, right? Is Margaret not Stormvale allied? Was he just like a dick hanging around, not friends with Godfrey or whoever it was that I fought? Anyways, the reason I mentioned the mental health thing is because um, and a good indicator of where my mental health has been at is that um, I. While I was playing earlier and feeling really tired, I legit couldn't tell if it was me getting sleepy. Great. Um, or me coming down with some sort of depression. Um, all right, so Soraya apparently showed me that you can just do that, which is insane to me. I can't believe how long I thought I had to like, use special weapons for this, when in fact you can just slash their little ghost and it does the trick. It doesn't matter what, like, your weapon is. Isn't that crazy? What a bonkers thing to learn by so watching somebody else's playthrough after 150 hours of this. Just gotta slash him a little more. Crazy to me. And there's like a pretty good window for it too. It's like, what's the point of having a holy weapon? I never needed one. I guess the ranged blast was a little bit fun in the Tibia Mariner fights. Lots of skellies. building up death blight? I 
I feel like I'm going way off the track that I wanted to be on right now. I should probably just go through those doors. But this looked like it came first, you know? But I probably should check the map and see that it doesn't or something. Oh, flying skeletons with death breath, huh? Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't look super... like a closed area, necessarily. Oh, I actually have quite a bit of rooms. Maybe I shouldn't really be looking about. I don't know if I could survive that either. Are these gonna finally be those things that crawl around? They are! Yes, finally! I saw these in a fight with somebody, and I've been waiting for them for such a long time. They're so cool! Oh, wait, I didn't understand what they were before, because I couldn't see them very well in that fight. I thought that they were like double tentacled, like, skull octopi, but they are the, the snails, but with Skelly parts. They're like little snake skeletons with skulls for shells. Oh, this is bad. I was kind of stuck on the rocks there a little bit. They are so cool. Wow, that's one of my favorite enemies in the game, actually. That's like something I would design, I feel like. I like that I can say that equally about those guys and like female Jellicent from Pokemon. I do want those um, runes, so I'm gonna go grab them. So, anyways. Point being that because I'm sleepy... Ah, that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, I may be a little quieter than usual. Which I think I already was in the last video, too. I see a donkey. I need 1,100, roughly. No, 10,000, 1,000, 11,000, right?
think I was going to get uh, one more up in endurance just to get an even number there. That looks good to me. Is someone there? A customer? Well... Hmm. Maybe I should have looked here before I spent all my money. Do I already have this? Doesn't really say. Profit blindfold. Oh, this is like the profit outfit. Note below the capital. Um, I'll pop a thing to buy some stuff with. I should probably sell stuff, actually, but whatever. Um. Something else? Consorts trousers? These are kind of fun. Looks like I still need more. Something else? Yeah, that's all I really want. Pretty donkey. I like this one. I feel like it's fancy than the others. Like the detail, the black and yellow, is so cool, and it's like a darker color, isn't it? It's like the prettiest donkey in the game. Remember back in the beginning of the game how I really wanted to try killing all the donkeys? I still do want to do that. And I probably will. Right before going in the final boss. And I know exactly which one I want to kill. The one down on the beach in the starting area. That was the first one that I thought, your neck looks very delectable. Normal donkey thoughts, you know? Um. Blindfolded of exiled prophets who fold toward misfortune and were persecuted and driven from their homes as a result. Why hesitate if the path leading to the future is clear? Just close your eyes and walk. Not really the vibe. Neither is this really, though. I'm, I'm not really... I always have a problem with headgear. Oh, I thought that looked cool last time and it wasn't. Um, I remember that now. No. Certainly not. What I should be wearing is... Oh, is this one cooler? This one is a little bit cooler. I want that to be cool enough for me. It just kind of doesn't look great with the whole outfit. Also, is that the one I like? The other one has that big dorky jewel, but does it have, like, a nose? Because the nose is pretty dope. Um, or am I just imagining that? No, it does have a nose. That one's cooler. Okay, that almost kind of does work, but it's not as sexy now. I guess I like that, actually. Um, made from rough fabric that scrapes against the skin like a sharpening file. Wow. Damn. It's hardcore. Uh, 
Uh, those are pretty dope pants, actually. Can I get, like, bare ground a little bit? I like those a lot, but the other ones... My other pants are so good. What was the other new ones? On sorts trousers. Those are actually kind of cute too. Uh, but... The other ones are bandages on my legs. Wait. It's also very sick. God, I can't decide. Bandages are so my style. These, this looks really solid as a set. And this one is mushrooms legs. Mushroom legs! I'm gonna switch to this for a little bit. Just wanted to see if I had any uh, underwear on, but I can't tell. have a new note. Note sold by nomadic merchants. Blah, blah, blah. Below the royal capital of Landell is a vast network of sewers. The well in the city below reaches deep into its tunnels. I like the motherfucking sound of that. See, at some point I'm going to be in Landell, not the Altus Plateau, and I feel like I might even already be there. This goes Lanedell when I pass through that door, which I suspect it will. I'm turning back. Even though I am now intrigued by the promise of sewers. I mean, Dark Souls sewers are not traditionally, or from soft sewers are not traditionally my favorite kind of sewers. Although I hear that there's some green slimy sewers perhaps in uh, whatchamacallit, Dark Souls 2, which I have not seen. This feels like a great place to get shot by giant fire arrows. Have I been here? Oh, this is the Alpha Plateau. Landell. So wait, have I been here? I kind of have, huh? It was just I could have kept going on this path and come into there some different way. Do I have a place that is Landell for sure? This is Landell. The doors that were locked. But there will be some way in via sewers. But it suggested a well, which has a very distinctive look on the map. And that I'm not seeing. Maybe that's because I'm supposed to come out a well. Which looks like maybe that. Yeah, probably, huh? Alright, alright.
I don't even know what number that was that I put on there. Got quite a ways to go. So two, okay. Uh, if I was smart, I would just teleport there, but I don't like to do that, really. I feel like I miss things in the world if I do that. And that is why this game is so chaotic for me. Can I deboard? I'm trying to get off my horse and it's not working. What's making that sound? I heard a creaking sound, but I don't see what was making it. Um, you know, I've been thinking about the design of this game. Because it does still feel a little bit awkward for me, gameplay-wise. And I can accept that perhaps that's, like, the fault of the way that I play, but... I feel like it can't be that uncommon a problem at the same time. To sort of have this experience of, like... It's just, like, ADHD personified. I mean, just, like, I just... There's, I want to have this like sense of being on this sort of a epic quest, but there's so much to do that is kind of like all scattered about in every which way direction that um, I get super easily distracted by other things that are just in my way. And those things are not like in my way on a path towards the thing I want to do. They're in my way in this gigantic open arena that takes me very far from what I was trying to do originally. And then that kind of makes it so I forget about what I was doing originally. And it really dilutes the sense that I'm on a quest. Um, it, it takes away the linearity that, while linearity sounds maybe boring to some, I think it is a crucial element of what makes a quest feel like a quest. You are driven. You're going somewhere. You know where you're going and like how you'll know when you find what you're looking for, um, and like that is an element, right, of the gameplay in the sense that they've given me a sort of a mission. But I don't feel like I'm on that mission. I feel like I'll inevitably get around to that mission, but I'm not on it. You know. So, and and I and I feel like in Bloodborne and FromSoft, the the relative linearity like, lend itself to this, like, driving feeling that you were, like, fighting your way, like, on a quest. That I think is a really positive feeling. So how do you achieve that in a game like this, I was wondering to myself. Um, and... I have multiple potential ideas. One is I don't feel like I felt as, like, quite as much like I wasn't on a quest when I was playing Breath of the Wild, which had a very similar structure, you know, giant world full of distracting things. I think perhaps that was because the distracting things in the world weren't quite as distracting. Like, they weren't full bosses. They were just little, you know, holdouts of enemies and little treasures and stuff, little puzzles. Um, but I think also part of it was that it had a much more, uh, well, not just simplistic, but, like, clearly, uh, uh, delineated goal. The quest that I was on was very straightforward, and I understood what it was, and I understood exactly where to go and what to do when I was ready. And, uh, that I do not feel about this game. I feel... Like, I barely understand the steps in the story because the dialogue is all very cryptic. Those golden sheep, that is rad as hell. Jump again? Oh, man. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna jump boulder boom. Um, so I don't really have a sense that I know exactly, like, what to expect. Um, or, or, like, how I'll know when I get where I'm going exactly. 
um, or which place to go, or, you know, I don't know. There's like so many little missions that seem just as big while you're doing them as the big missions that it all kind of dilutes the sense that I'm on a singular quest. Um, which even though the Breath of the Wild lets you do things out of order, it still like was straightforward enough that I felt the straightforwardness of my singular quest. It wasn't cryptic. I think that's a positive in a game that's so open. I think you need something a little straightforward to balance things out. Oh, damn. Okay. Fair enough. Um, the other thought I had, which I guess is kind of in line with what I'm saying, is like just the thought of like maybe you want to like have more people who were like telling me what to do almost like I was kind of thinking along the lines of like uh in D&D &D, you know like that's a potentially big meandering lots of different places to go kind of thing anything could happen based on the character choices potentially uh if you don't have too railroady a DM and and I think that's part of why it works to have the common trope of like um you know the game starts in like a tavern or something and somebody comes and like give makes a request from you which I guess what I'm saying is like you know the classic video game fetch quests are based on that right um and I don't always like those so it's not strictly what I'm saying but I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe if you, like, kept the quests the same as they are in this game, but had a little bit more, like, in the ways of, like, the sense that you're doing it for somebody, so that even the, um, like, the little mini-bosses that are on the side are, like, feel like part of your overarching quest. Like, you know, just something along the lines of, like, a, a person maybe at the beginning of the catacombs who says, like, this is a bad idea, but... God, what the fuck? That is a different dragon. What kind of magic is it using? Holy mackerel, that stretches a little far away. I don't know how that's supposed to be fought. Which way am I going? Why am I doing this? Have I been here? Hello. The routing of the ancient dragons. Godwin the Golden fought to the last, earning the friendship of Dread Fortisset. Ah, fuck! Well, thank you for that. Jesus Christ. Is that the same one that I just ran away from? No, I don't think so. The other one was electrified. Um, I heard him sneaking up, but I thought I had time. Um, but anyways, yeah, like a guy maybe in, like, the beginning of a catacombs being like, oh, like, aren't you the person who's trying to become Elden Lord? Well, would you help and, like, get my, you know, friend who's captured by the boss in this catacombs or something? You know, something that, like, kind of tied all of this, like, just meandering, aimless, self-directed, side questy stuff to, like, tied it somehow thematically to the, like, larger quests that it all felt like part of the same mission instead of, like, I've been distracted by a million mini-missions just living my you know, dinky little life, and, and I feel like I'm in a hazy dream state of ADHD nonsense, um, distracted from the actual quest, and, like, I'm, and, and the weird thing is that I'm not actually distracted from the quest, like, that is the quest, like, the whole time I'm on the quest, but I don't, like, feel like anything is relevant to the quest, I feel like the quest is coming together on its own, while I just fuck around, uh, and it doesn't make me feel much like a, you know, a cool hero-y guy, um, is that a weird rat or a guy? Oh, it's black. Oh, fuck me. These guys suck. At least this one's not invisible. Some of them are literally completely invisible. Oh, speaking of, you know what helps with these guys? Quite a lot. Well, not that. Uh, am I gonna fall off with? Yeah, he's just respawning because we walked too far away from his area. Oh, he's got that. Well, two can play at something vaguely similar to that visually. Yeah, 
Yeah, headbutt him. Liar. Damn it. Hughes, where are you? Hughes. Thank you. Please be second. Thank you. Thank you. Me and Hughes tag team these guys pretty darn well. Oh, well, that was supposed to be a dodge. Huh? Oh man, I was hoping to get a backstab. Oh shit, I thought that was a fuse. He's switching targets too much. Oh, what? That was almost a backstab. Huh? Very dangerous food, right? <laughs> yeah, ooh, wow, this is a new one. So, it's kind of embarrassing because one of my earliest videos was fighting one of these guys, like just a random one in a dungeon that was really weak, and I was like, The Black Knife Assassin was the title of my video, because I thought that was the only one. Turns out it's like one of the most common boss types, and like most of them are way scarier and more interesting than that one, but that's the one that got the video, um, with the title. Uh, was that a weapon? Because I would like that. I don't understand this. Okay, there we go. It is a weapon. I am not faithful enough to hold it, okay? Dagger once belonging to one of the assassins who murdered Godwin the Golden on the Night of the Black Knives. A ritual performed on the oddly misshapen blade imbued it with the power of the stolen Rune of Death. So is it the Rune of Death itself then, just formed into a blade? Because I have the other half of the Rune of Death. Unique skill, Blade of Death. Unleash the power of the Rune of Death to fire off a blade-like projectile. In addition to dealing immediate damage, the blade reduces the maximum HP and continues to wear down HP for a while. Now, I don't think I can see what that looks like without having strong enough faith for it. How much faith does it need? 18 and I have 6. Well, that sucks. I don't think even... I think even the Sword Seal only gets me up to, like, 5 more. See, this is, like, super not what I was supposed to be doing right now. Wait, this is like the beginning area. I mean, I kind of did want a well, and that's almost a well? But I don't think I'm going to get into where I'm going through a well. I think I'm going to come out of it via a well. Also, why is... Why do I think I'm going there? Didn't I have a vip? Wasn't I supposed to be trying to get into Volcano Manor? Why do you have mushrooms on your legs? Um, it's a uh, athlete's foot. Oh. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do this. <laughs> this does not sound fun. Um. Although now I know I can kill a murder chariot, I'm a little bit less intimidated. But maybe you can't kill every murder chariot. Okay, you are alive. Um. Crimson Seed Talisman. I imagine I know what that does. I hear something walking. I don't love that. Why did I do this when they're right at the end? Crimson Seed Talisman. Restore boosts HP restoration from Flask of Crimson Tears. I don't need that. They already restore all of my HP because I have ridiculously low HP. Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. You tell me I gotta do this to reveal guys. This feels like a puzzle dungeon and a half. Because there's no freaking enemies. That makes me extremely nervous. Okay, but this enemy type is weak. Just, like, 
kind of rolled into that, but whatever. Look at me. The amazing thing about that is that uh, my little knife worked. Hello, are you an omen killer? Are you within range of anything? That hit the that hit the wall. That sounds like imps, yep. Is that also gonna hit the wall? I kinda feel like that shot shouldn't hit the wall actually. Well wait, that's bathed in light. And I guess it knows a weakness. <laughs> Oh, that works. Oh, he ran away. What? Oh, he's a shadow. Fun. Oh, then they just die? Oh, no. Oh, that, that other guy was a goblin? He looks- or an imp? He looks so tall. I- I regret going down that path the way that I did. Was this the path I already took? Oh, it is. Okay. She really shouldn't jump down ledges. Oh my god, one of these guys in a tight space? Are you kidding me? Okay, these guys are scary. Unfortunately, they bleed well. What am I doing here? This is not what I want to be doing right now. But like now I'm here, you know? So can the shadows fight? Me? Presumably, yes, right? Otherwise, why would I care about getting in the light, eh? Um. It's kind of funny because they really needn't have given me that little clue, you know? It's kind of self explanatory. I mean, imps I can't damage, that is kind of a, a hideous torture idea. This place is labyrinthian. I have no idea where I am. Too empty! Oh! Yep. Should have known better. You know? Should have thought that through a little bit. Oh. Those are not fun sounds. Somebody's smashing chains over there. Um, how do I get back up? Seriously, what gives? Is there not a way up? Oh. Well, this doesn't sound fun. 
you. Fabulous. Um, I hate it. How many knives are there? One, two, three. Are those shadowy guys? No. Because the easiest guys to get grabbed by. <laughs> Going for a ride, buddy? Oh, he's dead. made a dying sound twice for some reason. What? I beg to differ. Hi. Wow, this is interesting. Okay. Did not expect to see one of you in a dungeon. Oh my god. Trying to get a word in edgewise there. Great, so that's the boss. I'm trying. Turned out okay, I guess. The uh, the red hood represents my blood abilities, you know. But I also have a blue hood if I ever want to uh, represent my spell casting abilities. Boot rosin. Oh, brother. You gotta be kidding me. I, I just want to find the room with the hole in it. Let's get to it. I'm excited to hear that. Um, this guy's a shadow, though. How am I supposed to fight him? Can I just get this stuff and dip? Don't crash, please. He's gotta follow me down here, right? Or else it's just not fair. But where's the light? Oh my god, no. I killed you! Jesus Christ. Can they damage each other in the shadows? No, no. How are you following me still? 
What? This is some ass. Oh, and now it's barfing poison again. I'll take my chances down here with the giant knives. Oh my god. For crying out loud. So he was the contraption? <laughs> Excuse me? That makes very little sense. Man, Soraya really has a point with those messages that don't go away unless you press triangle but don't tell you to press triangle. That does suck. You want to bed? Alright, I love you. Huh? You too. Sweet dreams. God, are you still barfing up there? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Jesus. After all that? And now it dies. Great. Well, maybe that'll be it for today. Or maybe I'll make one more video after this, but either way, I think I'm going to end the video there. Bye.